don't watch this movie until you've heard what I'm going to tell you. It teaches an obsolete testing method. We made this movie years ago. And the thing that's great about it is it has over 100 people in it, including like around 20 doctors, all just getting their first signal. And they are incredible. I mean, I actually, you know the finger, you know, twitch? That, that's what we do now. You cannot get spontaneous signals with the, with the finger testing that's taught in this movie because, you know, you have to have your finger hooked. You don't go around with your finger hooked all day, do you? <laughs> so you can never get a spontaneous signal that way. And I actually learned about the finger movement from watching some of these people because when they test, you will see some of them, including there's one doctor in there, Casola. And when he was testing, he had his finger, he did follow the instructions, you know, and he had his finger hooked like, you know, we used to tell him to hook their finger like this. And when he started testing, his finger moved apart like that. And I looked at that and I said, oh my God, you know, people, you know, God is trying to tell me something here, you know. People just do what they do. But I started to realize that, you know, you don't have to do any, anything. You can get a signal, like a signal can just be a thought, or you can open a page in a book, and, you'll, and you'll, be, you'll turn to the thing that you need to hear. And you'll know, because you'll get a good feeling when you return to the page. Of course, that's not in the movie, okay? <laughs> we didn't know that much when we made this movie. And you know what? I was not as open as I am now to learning when I was making this movie, though I did learn a tremendous amount when I made it. And it led to what we do now and also to me being this open. But we did not know a lot. And although, you know, you're, you may not want to watch any more than like 20 minutes of this, or you may sit there for two and a half hours, and you will, you will learn things from it, because I talk all about curing in it. You know, it's like really is the ins and outs of curing this film. You know, uh, so there's, and, and it, ha it's, it really hasn't changed either in a way, because, see, back then, the calm, clear place was always important. I just didn't know that it was the essential signal that you make the thread out of that you follow to a negative medical test. Look, the way, the way this actually works is, you know, the good feeling is a great confirming signal, but it is not really, an, it's not really important the way it is to change. You actually have to feel the disease disappear. And often, that just feels like you're quiet, your mind quiets. Like especially if you have a virus or cancer or um, Epstein-Barr, you know, things like this where, you're, where your thoughts just stop. You know, you just stop thinking and you're, and you're present, you're perceptive, you're open, you're, you know, you're feeling love. You know, these things, that means that the thing is, is gone and then the symptoms disappear, you know, you know, and like on the Cure Show, you hear people's symptoms disappearing in almost every Cure Show. Physical symptoms disappear during the Cure Show, in almost every single Cure Show. <sighs> I feel like I just cured something. Suddenly, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I do. The, one reason I like making movies, you know, is because I, I get into the good feeling when I make a movie. But see, the, the symptom disappearance is an important signal that you've cured something. And you know what? So is the negative medical test. And actually, not even the negative medical test Impro a series of improved medical tests can be for you how you get your signal that you're curing your cancer or your... It can even be true of herpes. You know, like you... I don't know what, what shows on the tests. Like you go, to a, you go to a doctor and you get a medical test for herpes, right? 
and the doctor comes back and he says, yep, you test positive. And you say, well, do you have any numbers for me? Now, what they're doing is measuring antigens and maybe he'll say, oh yeah, well, I got, we don't usually tell people the numbers because we see it as either positive or negative. You're either making antigens against herpes or you're not. But yeah, actually, I, it says right here, you're at 438, you know. And you go, okay, fine, I'm going to come back in three weeks and I'm going to get another test. And he goes, what's the point? You know, I mean, you've got herpes, that's it. It's, herpes is incurable. And you go, yeah, yeah, thanks a lot, but will you test me again? And you go, I'll test you again, you know. Listen, keep a record of my number, okay? Sure, sure, I, I file these things, not a problem. I, I, keep, your, I keep your medical records, I, we, we save them. Okay, good, so I'll be back in three weeks. So you come back in three weeks. You get your test and you, okay, what happens, you know, and the doctor is looking and he goes, hmm, that's funny, you know. Uh, I might have your previous test here and you were 438 and this test you're 62. So, hmm, that's interesting. It was a big change in your antigen level. <laughs> I don't, see, I don't even know what the test looks like for a herpes, so I'm just making this up. But the idea is to your doctor, that would mean nothing. He would just say, well, look, you still got herpes, you're at 60, it probably fluctuates in you for some, whatever reason, you know, don't worry about it. And you say, well, I'm going to come back in three weeks and get another test. He goes, listen, you want to pay me to test you? Not a problem. You know, I'll test you. <laughs> but to you, what you're doing is you're hammering this thing down to nothing. And all you need to know, really, is that when he comes back and he says, you know, this is really strange you have a zero antigen level, but I know you've still got herpes because herpes is incurable. So you've still, I'm, I'm gonna guarantee you, you still got it. And listen to him because probably when you get your negative medical test, you're still hosting herpes. And you may be hosting it for a very long time after you have no outbreaks and you show no other, see, because basically antigens are a symptom. That's what, they're just like having an outbreak, except they're a blood test, you know, symptom. Okay? So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to drop that to zero, and then you're going to do everything you're, you're taught to do in lesson number two, which is on the hub. <laughs> and uh, if you do that, all those things, and then move on to lesson number three and, and learn what's in there... Um, at some point, you can not be hosting herpes anymore. It, th this is our religious belief, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is not scientific, because the science ended when you got the negative medical test. That's as far as science could take you in your journey to not hosting. You know, science is a religion also, by the way. It's something that people believe fervently in. But science is something that can take you only a certain distance. But it is important to allow it to take you the distance it will take you because these tests that you get these negative medical tests or or improved medical tests they are a very important signal the least important signal is the finger movement obviously who cares if your finger moves look if your finger is moving or in the case of this movie you're going to if you decide you want to watch this movie if your finger is releasing you know and there is no change in your state. See, the people in the movie, you watch them and their state changes. They go to the calm, clear place. That's what's so important about this movie. I mean, they start laughing hilariously. Uproar. They're just, or they're just, whoa, I feel so much better. You know, they go, they, they go into these wonderful places. And this is where you really know you're curing something. When you have that change, that's how you know you're curing something. So if watching this movie is good for you in the sense that it exposes you to a lot of people getting that change, including doctors who love it, they, they instantly love it, you know, and then the movie is worth watching. It's worth something to watch, to spend the whatever, however much time you feel like spending watching it till you've had enough, you know. And at the same time, it will tell you a lot of good stuff about curing things, too. There, I, I, there's a lot of voiceovers in there of me telling you about curing things. So. And m most of that stuff still is current. It still holds. <laughs>